what they were producing before this uh, this project start was just a document, a big document, and uh, it was a document uh, written by Anne. Uh, the, the idea was to try to uh, make this process something uh, automatic, and they wanted to have some um, some editor in order to to write their um, equation and uh, in equation, let's call that uh, the, the models, and in order to put these models uh, into an electronic document. And after that, they wanted from that electronic document, they, their hope was to be, to be able to, to, um, to get help to generate the, the simulation code. And we were in, involved with the W3C, the organism which uh, coordinates the web, uh, on, the, um, on the norm to exchange mathematical objects. And they wanted to know which was the, the, the better protocol to exchange those mathematical objects or the equation between the engineers and the computer scientists. And uh, all they, they explained us what they wanted to do. And most of the things they wanted to do was feature already rare existing in, in Mathematica. Because we have some uh, language which describes the, the, our physical model. And we want to turn that uh, this language in, into uh, into C code or into Photon code. So it's a little bit like a compiler, but it's compiler with with uh, input language, which is very uh, very loose and uh, very um, easy. I mean, with not a lot of constraint, and also the, there is a lot of um, of information which is not directly part of the model, can be uh, depend on context and uh, can be input at translation time. I extensively use rules for programming and, uh, and also the, all the kind of paradigms, uh, programmation paradigms we have in, in Mathematica and that's, that make it very, um, very easy to, to implement because it's very rich for that. The fact of generating the, the simulation code instead of writing it um, allowed to reduce the step of testing the resulting code.